Calm is up. My head in. Broke runs up. Even the AC condenser is up. What's up, YouTube? So, new cam on the LS is ready to drop in. We have a new cam. We have new lifters because we have the fuel flex. So we're just gonna go, I'm holding the lifters because the left one is off. Now, let me give you a quick tip. It's your lifter holder, how it is. There's a bigger hole in the other one, just because one side is for the fuel flex. So when you're installing the fuel flex, make sure the little groove in here goes in here. This is one of, one of the mistakes uh, everybody makes. So make sure it goes in there. Put the little groove in there, there, and it has to have this play. It has to have this movement. Because we put them backwards, like you see the little groove there. If I switch it, it's still gonna fit, but it's gonna be get stuck there like tight. It has the movement. So it has to be like this. So make sure. Little groove in there. This one right here. There you go. This one. A little guide in here. There you go. And of course, there are solid ones. No matter which way you put them, that's fine. That's fine. That's how you set your lifters. Always make sure this play. If it's stuck like this one's here, something wrong. You have to flip it around. Only on the fuel flex though. Let me go ahead and I really love the can. It's pretty little extra. Just because it's free. I don't pay for it. And let's put the cam inside. Alright, the cam shelf is back in. We're gonna go ahead and put a little plate, which is this one here, for bolts. This little star, you're gonna need the T40. Yeah, T40. So this is what we're gonna need. So let me go ahead and install it. I'll be right back. Uh, now we can remove the Lift your holder. Now it's safe to do it. There we go. That's what I use. Put them in here. The bolt is from the Where's his head? Head bolt. It's okay, let me go ahead and install the little plate. I'll be right back. Alright, the plate is in already. So now we can go ahead and set our timing. to the piston number one up. Uh, put the timing chain. And the sprocket. And the camshaft gear, or sprocket. So let me go ahead and do it. All right, come in, gear in. Tell me marks, oh, I did my marks there. There's your little yellow mark. Straight line over there on here. Put the tummy marks are there. A little dot, those two dots from the crankshaft. On the top. So the actual marks are this. This one here and the one on the bottom. If you just can see it right there. Okay. 
there we go that one and this one the two align so that's the timing let's go ahead and put the bolt in there and install the head and lifters all right now lifter is only one way this is the shape of this so just to clear this right here so there's only one way so the fuel flex goes on the middle uh, on the middle pistons so this one goes this way there we go good i'm gonna go ahead and secure it with the 10 millimeter bolt the one in the front and one in the back so there's no way you can mix it this little thing it's a guy only one position Every time you remove the cam, if you don't want to remove the heads, you're going to have to remove the ball cover and the rock rams, the push rods. Only ways the push rods are in, rock rams are in. They're tying down. So let me redo it with the hand. Ball cover, coils, and then install the other head. The cam is over there. Bolts, everything is done in the timing cover. It's ready to swap the timing cover. Ball cover, coils, head, and do the same thing as the other side. Copper spray gasket. It adds an extra layer sealant. It's pretty good stuff for every metal head gasket. So there's one side, there's the other one. I made a little spot right there. Let me take care of it. There you go. Gonna lay out both sides. Don't worry about the head. Now it's his front. I'm gonna swap it over there. There you go. So now let me go ahead and bring the head. Install that new head bolt. And I'll give it torque specs and torque sequence.
Alright, the head is installed. Head bolts all the way down, kind of by hand tight. All the big bolts, head is 15 millimeters socket. They're M M11 bolts. First step 22 pounds, second step 90 degrees, third step 90 degrees. For the M8 bolts, which are the little ones, these ones, the ones with the 10 millimeter head, M8 is only 22 pounds. So three steps on the big ones, big ones, 22, 90 degrees, 90, 22 pounds, 90 degrees, and another 90 degrees. Little ones, only 22 pounds. Let's talk this one down so you guys know on, on the X pattern. It's first, second, third, fourth, boom, 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 like an X. Let me go ahead and torque those down. Set up my torque. There's 45. Oh shit. 21, 22, there you go. Foot pound. Let me go ahead and torque those down. I'll be back. Okay, 22 pounds, now 90 degrees. That's the first step. Second step, 90 degrees. Head bolts torque down. I only went 22, 90, and 50, because 90 seems a lot. So 22, 90, and 50. No, 90 and 60. And you're good to go. Always uh, remember replace the um, head bolt for new ones. So I'm not ready to uh, drop in the push rods and um, the little bad boys over there. So let me go ahead and do it. All right, push rod lift uh, rock ramps are in. Don't forget to put that little holder in the bottom it's like a huge reel where the rock crumbs are holding to so the spacer or holder don't forget to install that it's this little aluminum piece don't forget it so i spin the engine up put my finger on the spark plug holes check piston by piston and we have compression timing is fine I'll go i'm gonna go ahead and install the bulb cover all right update timing car about to go in gasket Coils, bulb cover, exhaust is on, coils, spark plugs, spark plug, pull, spark plug cables. So now swap this in. After this, main pulley, front accessories, and then the intake manifold. Intake head, everything's in there. Water pump. Get ready for the first start after radiator ac radiator so everything's back in and we have the truck running nice and calm so yeah It was some good work on it, but it's finally done. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. Next one I'm picking up a BMW E36, five speed, four door. I think it's like 400 bucks, I'm gonna get that one from the auction. And then most likely I'm gonna go on the eBay from Turbo. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with Turbo from eBay. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching.